Okay, welcome to the iHeart Unicode Lightning Talk Edition. Um, my name is Dan, and I work for cPanel, if you, if you can't tell. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is the guy that's talking to us about Unicode, did he screw it up on the first slide? Well, no, I did that on purpose. It's actually the replacement character. And I did it to highlight that sinking feeling you get when you do some really awesome work, and you go run it, and they're screwed up characters. And you're thinking, there goes the rest of my day. So the goal of this talk is to help you to see it is possible to love Unicode. You don't necessarily have to love it, just feel more comfortable with it um, because it's awesome. It's simple, it's complex. Um, the trick is it's, it's really not hard, but it can be confusing and that's what trips us up. So um, first, why is it awesome? Well, you have one standard for everything and you get more than just a list of characters. You have things like the CLDR, a lot of other things. Um, UTF-8 is a great encoding of Unicode because it's easy to get multiple languages on one screen um, and everything speaks UTF-8. So just do UTF-8. There's no reason not to. Oh yeah, the other thing that's awesome about it, uh, it has beer. Okay. Um, the second thing, yeah, I think I had poo on there. Um, the second thing about it being simple, there's really only three things you have to understand. Character sets. Just a, a set of characters, a map of a character to a code point. Second thing is a code point. What is that? It's a number that is used to correspond to a character. And then an encoding is just the code point to bytes that represent that code point on, on disk or uh, whatever. So, for example, the heart character is number 9,829, um, and that is 2665 in, in hexadecimal. And then the encoding of that in UTF-8 is these bytes E299 and A5. So see, that's, that's simple. That's all there is to it. So why is it so scary? Why do we have so many problems with it? One thing is there's a lot of terms that are interchanged. You hear care set or characters and they might really mean uh, the bytes and all these things. Also the technology that's involved. Everything involved in the chain of events happening have to do it right or else you get something screwed up. Which, a side point that I forgot to mention the last time I gave this talk, uh, Perl has by far the best Unicode support of any language out there. And if you don't believe me, go out and try it uh, and see for yourself. <laughs> so the, all of this combined leads to a lot of bad experiences and then we have a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So what can we do about it? Simplify. What I like to do, I just think and speak in terms, in two things, in two terms. Think in characters, which is Unicode, and bytes, which is UTF-8. So whenever I'm doing uh, documentation or speaking or whatever about it, I'll refer to th something as a Unicode string, meaning uh, I'm thinking of the actual characters. Uh, or I might be speaking or writing about UTF-8 byte strings, so now I'm interested in the actual bytes that make it up, irrelevant of what the characters are. So to troubleshoot a problem, there's only three steps. Step 42 is don't panic, clearly. You will find the you will figure it out. You'll find the problem. Uh, the first thing is check your technology involved. Um, one thing at a time. You don't have to get, be overwhelmed by the whole process. First, just look in your database. Are, is the data in there actually the data you think it is? Um, the second one is simplify. Um, by you know, isolating the parts of your technology that's happening. And I also like to use a simple short string with one character that has multiple bytes so that uh, I can easily identify and see what, where it went wrong. And so I like to use iHeart Unicode, actually, because uh, it's easy to see what it looks like. So in this example, the top one, visually you should see the heart. In bytes you should see these E299 and A5. Um, and if you're getting the second one, well then you know, okay, at this point it is now screwed up. What, are the, what do the bytes look like? And you can figure out, okay, at some point this got double encoded. Where did that happen? And from there, you just drill down until you find it. So the point of all this is, is knowing these things means your, your FUD level goes down. Um, I give a 35-minute version of this talk, which goes a lot more uh, deeper into the topic. There's demos and tools you can use. Um, that YouTube URL will take you to that talk. I'll have it, that URL on the uh, thing for this talk here at Yapsi. Um, but the goal is if, if you want to be the guy on the, start as the guy on the left, You'll end up being the guy on the right because that's what we all want to be, right? And uh, that's it. Thank you for your time.